Visit Zayarite.com for all your project supplies, tools, and instructions. Hi, Eric Grant with Zayarite. Yesterday I was sewing and I got the dreaded loose stitches on the underside of my assembly and I was like, what's wrong with my sewing machine? I was using the LS sewing machine uh, with a smooth foot left uh, and I was sewing leather and it was doing a great job of sewing leather. But then I went to do my top stitch and I looked on the underside and boom, I got those dreaded stitches that you hate seeing. And it was driving me crazy. I was like, what in the world's going on? And I figured it out. It's pretty easy. I should have figured it out right away. But I need you guys to know exactly what to do when this scenario happens to you. So I'm going to show you what's going on. This is the smooth foot left that I was using. Um, it, this would apply to any uh, roping zipper foot left or right. So I was sewing like this with the seam uh, on the edge like this, which, which has a lot of bulk here, but it stops abruptly here because basically I had to sew this lining in and so forth. So there's a lot of bulk that stops right there. Okay, so if I put this in the machine, I'm going to sew the opposite direction that I usually do um, so that I can uh, mimic this situation. And if this foot, the roping, the foot on the left, goes in the valley, then this foot doesn't rise enough to create a good stitch. And I'll show you that here. So it's, this is going to probably create some loose stitches on the underside. Let me turn the machine on. So here we go. And I'm like, okay, everything's going great. And then I turn this over. So here on the underside, now it didn't happen over here, but it definitely happened over here. And it's because this center foot wasn't popping. Now, to resolve that situation, it could have been worse. It actually did a pretty good job, but it could have been worse. To resolve that situation, what I need is this foot to be on top of the bump, or I need to install the standard foot so that this foot over here would actually uh, come in contact with the bump. So if this foot doesn't pop up, it can't tension the thread. And if it can't tension the thread, you get loose stitches underneath. So what I need to do in this scenario, if I don't change this foot out for the standard foot that has a foot over here, is I need to move the stitch closer to this edge so that this foot is on top of that bump. And in this scenario, it will be perfect every time here. So let's show you the bottom side here. So you can see there, it tensioned it beautifully. This is how the ultra feed walking foot must perform for the upper thread to tension appropriately. So when the outer foot comes down, you can see the center foot rises. And then when the needle enters, the center foot comes down, holds, and then the outer foot comes down, comes in contact with the material, and the center foot pops. This popping right here allows the thread to be tensioned, and that's the important part. You can expect to have issues when your outer foot is in a valley and the center foot is on a peak a thicker assembly. Why is that? Well, it's because one of the jobs of the outer foot is to lift the center foot when it comes down. If it's in a valley and the center foot is on a peak, then it can't lift well and you get the dreaded loose stitch on the bottom side of your assembly. So there's really only two ways to resolve this. Either you move the stitch left or right so that the outer foot comes on top contact with that peak, or you put in a standard foot that has a toe on the left side and the right side so that it helps to raise that center foot and one of these feet will come in contact with the peak. We hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, give us a call or email us. We're glad to help.